Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to UPI News, and this is about former NFL star Brett Favre moves to dismiss civil suit against him. A day after filing a uh, defamatory suit, excuse me, defamation suit. Former NFL quarterback Brett Favre sought to dismiss a lawsuit against him filed by the Mississippi Department of Human Services. In Friday's motion to dismiss, Favre contends he has committed no wrongdoing as the state seeks to recover millions of dollars of misspent public money, court documents show. Brett Favre has done nothing wrong, lawyers, for the the 53-year-old. Former Green Bay Packers star wrote in their preliminary statement, MDHS still does not and cannot allege that he did. The claims against him in MDHS's amended complaint fail to objectively, uh, uh, excuse me, objectively as did those in its first complaint, and they must be dismissed. Favre asserted in the filings that there is no factual or legal basis to include him in the state's lawsuit in which it is seeking to recover public funds it claims were misspent. As a result, the former athlete has endured a defamatory tyrant, excuse me, torrent of negative publicity, the motion states. He claims the agency should instead focus its attention on itself and those responsible for spending and uh, monitoring the, its funds. The agency is targeting him to try to deflect responsibility for its own egregious wrongdoing, the ex-athlete's lawyer asserted in the filings. Farb, who is from Gulfport, Mississippi, is not currently facing any criminal charges. Six other people involved in the $77 million fraud case, however, are facing charges including former MDHS Executive Director John Davis, who pled guilty in September to federal counts of wire fraud and theft. He is cooperating with investigators as part of the plea deal. Earlier this week, uh, Farb's lawyers filed defamation suits against NFL commentators Shannon Sharp and Pat McPhee, as well as Mississippi State's auditor Shad White. Sharp is being sued for saying on Daily Fox Sports TV show that Farb stole money from people who really needed that money. McVie, who also has his own syndicate radio and YouTube show, made similar comments. The case involving Farr alleged that he was paid $1.1 million in temporary uh, assistance of needy family funds for four speeches that were never performed. The state is also suing Farr along with former professional wrestler Ted DiBiase and uh, uh, and over two dozen other people and companies to recover the misspent welfare money. The civil lawsuit against 38 parties came following an audit report published in September. At least five million worth of welfare funds were also used to build a new volleyball stadium at the University of Southern Mississippi where Favre's daughter played. He championed the cause helping to raise funds. It is collectively the largest public fraud case in Mississippi history. Okay? And that is the end and the update to uh, the goings on as far as Brett Favre is concerned. Um, yes, he has taken legal action against others, and he desperately wants to get taken off of this case in the first place. Um Either way, regardless if they take him off um, of the case and he's never charged with any crime and he will be charged in the, the, you know, arena of public opinion, um, you know, it just looks bad all the way around for the veteran QB. And sadly, you know, if it was just a mere um, 
thing where, you know, they said he was involved but didn't have, you know, text messages and correspondence going back and forth, then I think it wouldn't have been so bad in the public eye. However, uh, some things have came out uh, allegedly against him uh, that does not paint him in a much favorable light. And, um, you know, I guess uh, I'm assuming that he is taking the it's not what you know, it's what you can prove, uh, you know, tactic. This is only an assumption. This is not, you know, anything that is concrete that I believe that he's doing. Let me just say that first and foremost. However, um, it just gives me that type of vibe of him. You know, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Um, As to how I feel about him, you know, uh, being involved in some capacity, uh, he's wrong for that. Um, And that's just my opinion. You know, that's not backed up by any facts or anything like that, but that's just my opinion. Um, I have openly spoke out about um, you know, this, and, you know, I felt as though they're playing their cause a certain way, um, you know, wanting to protect themselves, and, you know, other ways, I mean, uh, other things that, uh, other moving parts that are going on, as far as this case is concerned, but I would definitely like to hear what you have to say, um, I would, very, I am still very invested and interested to see how this will all pan out, um, and, you know, I'll report on it every time something becomes available. Until then, drop down in the comment section, as you as we always do, and chop it up with me, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and last but never least, thank you so much, I do appreciate you watching this video, and with that, I will get with you in the next one.